All right, so I'm just gonna say it this week to kick it off. Your A, not moving enough. B, you haven't had enough uh, look into your overall nutrition. Three, your consistency is just not there yet. And now I say this totally out of love and I say this out of having done so many sit downs with all of you all where when we first set intentions for what we're gonna do, a lot of these kind of roadblocks to success came up. And I say that because it's so easy to kind of get into that mindset of, well, I'm doing all these things and, and not actually take a hard look on whether or not you are. And, you know, in business, we talk about KPIs, key performance indicators. And those are three big buckets that I just mentioned, consistency, strength training, nutrition, and overall movement. But if you just kind of go into a week and say, I'm, I'm doing them, I'm just gonna do them, but you don't really have an idea of maybe your intention for those things on the week, maybe an action step to move one of those along, or if they're actually happening. Okay? Do you have a KPI for these, so to say? And you know, in movement, that can be a few different ways. That can be steps. It could be a number of times that you got outside on a day. It could be how many times you stood up, but you really need you really need things that are a little more concrete. Something like steps is concrete because you know we can wear a trackable, we can we can hold our phone throughout the day, and we can actually get an average every single day, every single week, every single month, even every single year. And the reality is that if you find that you're on that side of always at 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 steps a day, and it's not moving up, and you're wondering why you're not feeling a little bit better, maybe why you're not achieving um, some of the goals that you want in terms of body composition, that just has to be higher, or those other buckets have to be filled up higher. They have to be filled up more, possibly overflowing, to offset that. The other would be that nutrition piece. You know, we, we hear this a whole lot of, I'm doing all the things, I'm crushing my workouts, and I'm either, if the goal is to feel better, maybe we're still pretty much kind of like eating like shit, eating like, um, eating out all the time or eating no protein or we are simply getting uh, tons of you know like GI stressful foods in our diet and those are all ways that can negatively affect the success towards your goals of feeling better if you're aiming for weight loss and you're eating more calorie dense foods than nutrient dense foods weight loss is going to be a bit tougher and if your goal is just body composition change there's certain things that have to be dialed in in terms of getting the protein intake to support muscle growth um, getting the carbohydrates in to support the energy for the workouts now i recognize nutrition is so nuanced it's why i actually say that um, it is the one area that i feel one-on-one -on -one true coaching is one of the most beneficial things you can have because it's so individual and each of those little things i mentioned nutrition might take different action steps at different levels for each person and then the other is that consistency piece like at the end of the day if, if you're looking back say over the last uh we'll say 24 weeks so you know six months and you see uh, one month with 12 workouts one with four one with eight one with you know, at the end of the day, if that's happening and you are wanting certain things to be achieved goal-wise, you're just not gonna achieve them because of that. You're not hitting that consistency. And once again, this is set out of love. Like, how can I how can I help you right now? How can I help you troubleshoot that? And all of those main ideas holding you back, there actually could be little action steps to move all those forward. You know, the, the step piece could be just an awareness of how low the steps are. It could be a dedicated walk each day. It could be standing up and taking phone calls. The nutrition piece could be going as far as talking about your macros and your calorie intake, or as simple as let's just talk about your hunger levels, your fullness levels, and your snacking. The you know consistency of training piece could be how do we find one day instead of five, or how do we schedule it in two weeks in advance? So these are all things that just kind of coming to you today of just saying, hey, if, if you're fine, you're not doing one of these things or you are having all of these things be at the, um, the low end, then we need to have a conversation or you need to have a sit down with yourself and go through each of those. I'm glad I have a 15 minute call where we can just catch up on one of these, schedule a roadmap, or just comment below. Let's have a conversation with, with the whole gym about some overall strategies for success here. So um, coming to you today with um, a little bit of a right to the